Okay, folks, I am partway through the uh, amphibious landing phase, invasion phase of Atlantic War, and I'm running through the German fire, and I want to show you how it's going. And I've got to be honest, it's kind of sucking the fun out of the game. It's been pretty good so far. We've got drift, we've had obstacles. Now it's German fire. So basically, for every box, for every box on this beach chart, every box with American units, I've got to calculate the weight of German fire. And to do that, I've I've found, took me a while to find it, the last page of the exclusive rules, this fire diagram, which kind of illustrates the rules as explained here. Now, there's only kind of like one column. It starts here, German fire restrictions, runs through about there. There are examples, but... It just does your head in because for every you've got to calculate the value for every potential Vitasan nest firing into this this location. So let me demonstrate where I'm at. So I've done this one, resolved this one. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now I'm up to this box here. It's the Fox Green Sector Beach Box. Okay, so um, we have got. We ignore these because they're in the beach exit box and they only fire basically along their row. We've got Vitus and S60. Now it's, it sits astride two sectors and so it can fire into this one, Fox Red and Fox Green. So I've got Vitus and S60. It is doubled because it is um, the target box is in the same. Now hold on. The target box, no, hold on. <laughs> the target box is in the same sub. The target box is in the same sub sector, and the box immediately lower, these boxes here, is not occupied. So they're doubled. Right, then we go to the next potential. This is the next 61. Should be doubled as well. The target box is in the same sub sector, and the box immediately lower, immediately lower is not occupied by allied units. Okay, so that's not occupied by allied units, so they're doubled as well. Then we get to Vitacent is 62. These guys cannot fire because um, if the box immediately lower in the same subsector is allied occupied, the Vitacent nest may only fire into boxes adjacent to or into any lower box in the same... Okay, so I can. <laughs> into, into any lower box in the same subsector. Okay, so we will have... Um, did that wrong. This index 61, strength 1. Alright, this index um, 62. Let's reverse these. So we go along the top. So I'm doing this procedurally. 62, we've got 61 north, 61 <laughs> south, 61 north. I've jumped the gun on that one. Um, 62 south. Okay. So they should be strength one because they're firing into it. They can fire into an adjacent subsector. Okay. I see no restrictions there. They can't fire yet. If the box and order by friendly units, the immediate lower row, there's no, they don't mean any conditions for being doubled. think it's a target box same sector no it's not the same sector it's not adjacent okay so they will be strength one and then bit symbol 62 nest 62 n should also be one because it's not in the same sector not in the same sector and it's not adjacent crikey right I think Yep, single. Okay, so we add these up and we get two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the maximum fire factor. Looking at that, now I've got my actual charts with me. I then go to the fire table value. I make a die roll for this. It's a six. There are modifiers. It's low tide, so minus one. It's the first subface, so minus one. So we're down to a four. Um, there's no armor here. It's not an adjacent box, it's not a beach exit coastal pavilion box, and it's not a shingle box. So I'm going to result of four, which is an 
A. Okay, that's bad. That's the worst. A quality rating from the Germans, in effect. Looking at this A table on the fire results table, I now roll again. I get a 2. This is not going to be good. There's no armor, so that's a minus 1, which is a 1. This gives me armor. There'll be armor, 1 loss. Infantry, 1 loss, 2 pinned. Engineers, 2 pinned. And weapon, 1 pinned. So now look at the box, there's no armor, don't worry about that. Infantry, one step loss, two are pinned. All right, so I select those two and they're pinned. Engineers, two are pinned. Okay, we only have to place one pin marker. So all of that to resolve just one box. And I'm gonna do that throughout the beach, every beach box, and then the two shingle boxes. And then I've got to repeat it for all of the British beaches as well. It's very slow going. It's not a lot of fun. I've got to calculate basically every single Vitistan nest for every single box that they can potentially shoot out. I'm getting better at understanding the limitations. I've got, it's got to sit here with the rules right in front of me. Um, but this has really slowed things down and it's kind of not a lot of fun. Again, I'm not making any decisions here. I get no choice here. Here are my units. They've drifted randomly. The Germans are set up. The only decision I've made so far in the amphibious landing module is <laughs> one decision. How many DD tanks do I want to send in the initial wave? And I, descended, I decided to send them all for most of the beaches. Um, that's the only decision I've made. So a lot of them made it, we had some casualties. But other than that, it's just mechanical, checking table, adding modifiers, calculating fire values. And it's only a difference between one or two. For every box, I've got to determine basically if they can fire. So these guys won't be able to fire on this box because they're not in the same sector anymore. So we'll be looking at this, this, this. Uh, I don't know about that. Are they, I guess they're in a, no, they're in an exit box. This, this, and this. No, they won't be able to because they've got units below them. So they'll be having, I'm getting quicker. I know that there'll be basically five Vitasen nests firing on this box. They'll be doubled. I think they'll be doubled. I think they'll be doubled, but they won't be. So already I can tell you it's gonna be six, seven, eight, a maximum of seven, so seven. So I'm getting better. I can take a glance at that and, and work it out. Um, and again, just to recap, so seven, a die roll of five uh, with my, there's no armor here either. So minus two modifier is a three which is another A result. I then look at the A table, minus one to a seven, which is gonna be a six, which is gonna be an armor one, infantry one, one pinned, engineers one, and weapon one pinned. Now, uh, don't have a lot here, so I'm gonna have a step loss, and you're pinned. And then the engineers suffer one step loss. And that's how it works. So folks, that's kind of, I'll be going through this in, in uh, <laughs> going through this for every box. And then I'll do a quick summary recap um, once I get it all sorted out. I'm looking forward to hitting the beaches and actually having some say, actually being able to make some decisions. Uh, as I said, no decision making here. I haven't decided to do anything with this, this whole long sequence. It's just calculations, 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 which isn't a great deal of fun. Which is why I'm looking forward to hitting the beaches and making some decisions. All right, thanks, folks. Take care.